Welcome to day two of the 30 day holiday video challenge. Today we're making black flame candle desserts. Hi there foodie friends, my name is Carly and welcome to my channel Adventures in Yum. Before we get into today's video, I have a passion for learning about creating and trying new foods, drinks, and especially desserts. If you want to join me on my yummy adventures and especially for this 30 day challenge, then please make sure to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so that you'll know when I upload new videos every week. And now let's dive into today's video. To a microwave safe bowl, we add about four and a half cups or 766 grams of Ghirardelli vanilla melts. And we melt those in the microwave in short increments of 15 to 30 seconds at a time until completely melted. Make sure to stir in between each heating. Once completely melted, we add the melts to the wells of a silicone shot glass mold. Once all of the wells are full, carefully tap the mold on the counter to ensure that any air bubbles are removed. Once it seems like all the air bubbles are gone, carefully place the mold on a small sheet pan and place that in the refrigerator to completely set for about 5 to 10 minutes. Once they're set, we remove them from the mold and it's time to decorate these candles. I was going to try to make these look exactly like the black flame candle from the movie, but there are a lot of small details on the side of that candle, so it wasn't going to happen without like an edible printer or something like that. So instead, I decided to add silhouettes of the Sanderson sisters on the side of the candles. I found silhouettes of them from a quick Google images search and eventually found a design I liked, printed it out and cut the silhouettes. If you can freehand the design, by all means do that. I just personally knew that I needed some kind of template to work with. We use a light colored edible candy melt marker to draw the outline of the silhouettes. You can either do all three on one candle or pick your favorite witch to put on the candle. I decided to use one of my recipe notebooks and a piece of parchment paper to ensure that the candle didn't roll around while I was trying to draw on it. Next, we melt some orange Wilton candy melts in a small bowl. We don't need much, so probably about a quarter cup or 43 grams should do it. After we melt them in the microwave in short increments of 15 to 30 seconds at a time and then thin them out with a tiny bit of vegetable oil, we use a food brush to carefully add the candy melts to Winifred's silhouette. Make sure to cover the outline that we made with the edible marker. You can either leave it plain or you can jazz it up with some orange sugar sprinkles for an extra pop of fabulousness. Pick up the candle to shake off any excess sprinkles, and once the candy melts are set, use a food brush to brush off any excess sugar sprinkles around the silhouette. While working on these candles, if at all it seems like the candy melts are starting to set too fast, simply remelt them in the microwave for about 15 to 20 seconds. Repeat this process using Wilton lavender candy melts and purple sugar sprinkles for Mary. And finally, use yellow Wilton candy melts and yellow sugar sprinkles for Sarah. These candles were inspired by Ali of Sugar Pusher, who I follow on TikTok. As soon as I saw her candy milk candle tutorial, I was totally inspired to make this dessert. Before we finish these marvelous black flame candles, if you're getting value out of this video, then please make sure to hit that like button, click subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified about my latest video. You can certainly fill these candles with whatever you wish, but I decided to fill them with alternating small circles of black velvet cake, my recipe video is linked above and in the description, and pumpkin pastry cream. My pumpkin pastry cream is just like my linked pastry cream recipe. We simply swap half a cup of the whole milk for one cup of pumpkin puree and a quarter teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. I went with this combination not only because it's super tasty, but also it looks like Halloween colors inside. We fill the candles until they are at least three quarters of the way full, but still leave some room at the top. For the size and thickness of these itty bitty cake layers, I was able to add three layers of cake and two layers of filling. Once that's done, we add some of the melted vanilla wafers to the top of our filling. Tap the sides of the candle to make the melt settle into a nice even layer. Once we do this with all of the candles, we place them in the fridge to set for a couple of minutes. To add a little extra sparkle, we brush some of the vanilla melts onto the bottom perimeter of the candles and immediately dip them in black sugar sprinkles. Next, we melt some black Wilton candy melts in a small bowl. We don't need much, so once again, probably about a quarter cup or 43 grams should do it. Once we melt them in the microwave in short increments of 15 to 30 seconds at a time, we pour the candy melts onto a piece of parchment paper and use an offset spatula to spread the melt into a thin, even layer. Once the melts have hardened, we're cutting our flames and candle wicks using a paring knife. To be more consistent, I cut a little flame into wax paper to use as a template. 
You can either try to cut the wick and flame as one piece, but I personally found it easier to cut them in two separate pieces and then use a little bit of candy melts to basically glue them together on the back of the flame. Once those pieces are set, we use food tweezers to hold the flame because it easily melts when being directly held. We use a kitchen torch to lightly melt the top middle of the candles and use the tweezers to hold the flame in place until it can stand on its own when the melt's set. This should take only a few seconds or so. If you realize your candle wick is too long, you can easily break or cut off the bottom half. And there we have these awesome Hocus Pocus black flame candle desserts. Aren't they so cute? You can also find these black flame candles on my website, adventuresinyum.net. The link for that is in the description below. Make sure to come back tomorrow for day three, where we will make something a little harder, but it's truly an awesome project. If you're interested in checking out some of the products I used in this video, please make sure to check out the video description below for their Amazon links. Thank you so much for joining me today, foodie friends. I'll see you next time for another spooktacular yummy adventure.